Hello everyone, welcome back to Channel Your Name. Today we'll dive into two of the latest AI image generation and editing tools making waves right now. Nano Banana, also known as Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, and Seadream 4.0 from ByteDance. We'll compare them across features, quality, speed, cost, and use cases, and see which one might be better suited for different needs. Let's get started. First, a brief overview. Nano Banana is Google's model, Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, that gained popularity for its strong image editing, image generation, especially good at preserving detail, handling transformations, etc. Seadream 4.0, launched by ByteDance, is designed to rival Nano Banana with claims of superior performance in certain benchmarks, more creative flexibility, and higher resolution output. Good quality but typically lower than highest offered by Seadream versus supports higher resolutions, up to tilde 4K in many cases, sharper textures. Excellent at handling logical scene consistency, real-world objects, fine detail, strong character consistency versus very competitive, often superior in generating aesthetically striking stylized and artistic outputs, better with complex creative prompts, strong editing, works well with logical edits, style consistency, modifying specific parts. But limited in number of reference images versus Seadream 4.0 allows multiple reference image inputs, as many as 6, 10 in some tests, which helps for maintaining style, consistency, blending. Also better batch editing, very fast especially for single images, efficient on device web tools. Good for quick iterations versus slightly slower when pushing to ultra-high resolutions or multiple references, but many claims that it still produces high-quality images in reasonable times, free or lower-cost tiers versus potentially higher cost for professional use, API access, more computational resources needed. Some platforms offering access report cheaper cost per image for some tiers. Let's look at what objective benchmarks and tests are showing so far. Seadream 4.0 has reportedly topped benchmarks like artificial analysis, text-to-image and image editing, with ELO scores above Nano Banana. ByteDance claims that in their internal benchmark, Magic Bench, Seadream 4.0 outperforms Nano Banana on prompt adherence, alignment, aesthetics. In side-by-side -side tests, Seadream 4.0 often delivers more visually striking style, better texture details, but Nano Banana still often wins when it comes to fidelity of 3D model style or retaining original expressions, pose, subject identity under complex transformations. Here are the trade-offs what each tool does well, and where they lag. Nano banana strengths. Consistency in preserving identity, facial expressions, pose when editing. Solid real-world logic in scenes lighting, shadows, object proportions tend to be accurate. Fast output for many use cases, especially at moderate resolution, making it good for casual users or quick prototyping. Nano banana weaknesses. Limited max resolution compared to Seadream in many tests. Less flexible with multiple reference images. Sometimes style transfers or more artistic stylization may lag or lose coherence. Seadream 4.0 Strengths High resolution, texture detail, good for print, large-scale visuals. Strong stylization and aesthetics, more creative freedom. Excellent support for multiple reference images and batches of variations. Good value in some platforms, depending on plan, when considering output quality versus cost. Seadream 4.0 Weaknesses slightly more resource-intensive, may be slower for ultra-high-resolution jobs, sometimes in attempts to stylize heavily, might lose strict fidelity to original subject, face, pose, identity, potential higher cost or steeper learning curve for precision work. Depending on what you need, one may be more suitable than the other. Product design, catalog images, marketing mock-ups, you need precise control, realistic lighting, consistent brand elements, high fidelity and real-world object renderings versus if you have multiple reference items, want stylized mood, artistic presentation, or want variations to choose from. Character art, conceptual, creative art. When detail fidelity and identity are critical, for example portraits or characters with specific traits versus when exploring stylization, experimenting with artistic effects or need high-res detail. Rapid prototyping and iteration. Nano Banana's speed makes it useful for quick test renders or rough ideas versus Seadream can give more options per prompt which helps in exploring multiple directions. Print, large format. Seadream's higher resolutions can be beneficial versus if print quality is not essential, Nano Banana works fine. Casual personal use, educational graphics. Nano Banana may be more accessible versus Seadream is valuable too, 
especially if you want more polished or expressive results. Let me walk you through a few example prompts and compare outputs, showing both models side by side. Prompt, a figurine of my pet dog standing on a wooden desk with soft lamplight, realistic materials. Sea Dream 4.0, richer textures, detailed fur, shadows more nuanced. Nano Banana, very good, especially accuracy in pose, facial expression, slightly sharper in areas, maybe less detail in surroundings. Prompt, fantasy landscape, floating islands, dramatic lighting, epic sky. Sea Dream, more visually striking clouds, stylization, more dramatic color grading. Nano Banana, more coherent structure, realistic proportions, less overstretched stylization. Prompt, convert portrait into 3D collectible figurine with real materials, acrylic base. Nano Banana often does better in materials, motifs of the object, for example, acrylic base, figurine texture. Sea Dream sometimes excels in artistic rendering but may slightly deviate from exact likeness or fine materials. These specific example results are drawn from comparative tests reported in media reviews. It's important to reflect not just on technical performance but also on practical and ethical aspects. Bias, safety filters. Both models have content and safety filters. Sometimes they limit certain outputs. Users should be aware of what is possible and what's restricted. Originality and copyright. As with all generative AI, there is concern about training data, style mimicry, and copyright issues. Being responsible in usage, especially commercial, is essential. Resource use and cost. High resolution, multiple reference images, batch editing, etc. require more compute. Depending on your platform or subscription, costs may rise. Accessibility. Who can access these tools? What kind of hardware, network connection is needed? What subscription or API fees apply? So, what's the takeaway? If you need precision, fidelity, real-world logic, Nano Banana is excellent. It's very strong for editing, retaining subject identity, doing transformations that respect realism. If you want artistic styles, high resolution, variation, creative output, Sea Dream 4.0 offers more flexibility and in many benchmark tests has pulled ahead. If I were to suggest, for students, designers, hobbyists working on smaller scale or digital content, start with Nano Banana. For professionals doing print work, branding, artworks, multiple stylized outputs or needing high resolution, Seadream 4.0 is likely the better choice. And my advice, if possible, try both with your own typical prompts, workflows. Often the best model is the one that works best with your style and constraints. Thank you for watching. If you found this comparison useful, please hit like, subscribe, follow for more AI tool reviews, comment below, which tool have you tried and what for, and share your prompt, result if comfortable. Until next time, keep creating and exploring.